One of the things that I like to do is share my gardening. At this point in my life, I look at features and I look at uh, wattage, lights, uh, things such as uh, heat that comes off of a unit. I actually measure that as well as uh, double check the actual watts used versus stated watts. So stick around with me and let's take a quick look at this A Hope Garden. Nice packaging to start with. I really like to see when people uh, start to put more details on the outsides of the box. Let's just quickly open this up and see what's inside. So the telescoping uh, light fixture, I've measured it out and it is actually uh, 14 and a quarter inches uh, from the top of the deck to the bottom of the light. It is about 11 inches uh, from in width and from front to back, uh, six and three quarters inches, roughly uh, three inches on center, maybe just a little bit under. This is the uh, fill hole. You could just uh, pop this little rubber piece in and out to uh, fill it up. There's a pump that sits in the bottom and the pump pulls water and nutrients from inside and recirculates them. There's a little piece that jets the nutrients out to the uh, side where it uh, circulates back around and gets pulled back through the pump. If you grab the base of the pole and put your hand down on the bottom, this is just fantastic when it comes for cleaning because you could set this to the side and you could actually take this piece and easily put it into a sink or a top rack dishwasher. The unit does come with spacer covers in case you don't want to uh, use all eight holes. It has the seed baskets, the uh, sponges. So here you have it. It has a lot of nice features. That pump will circulate and help the uh, oxygenation of the water as well as nutrient distribution from uh, settling you know, the nutrients on the bottom. Keeps that all mixed up and it will uh, help the plants to grow a little bit more rapidly. Now, the uh, amount of water that's in here right now, it says max three liters and a lot of garden units when you put a uh, seed pod in there, you don't want to go all the way up to three liters. But I've noticed that uh, with their seed basket, let me pull that out. I can actually get uh, between 2.5 and three liters of nutrient water in this garden and do fine. And this other pod, if you're curious, is from a company called Aero Garden, and it has a little bit deeper basket, a uh, little bit longer uh, sponge for seeds, and it sticks up above the deck just a little bit, but uh, that seems to be doing well at that same water level, just between 2.5 and 3 liters on this uh, see-through window that allows you to look through and uh, check the uh, water level. For a size unit such as this, it really depends a little bit on the uh, size of the unit, the size of the plants, uh, the wattage of the light. So uh, the recommendation that I would have is if you're going to do a micro dwarf uh, tomato plant or a dwarf uh, pepper plant, such as what you see in the background here, maybe uh, one uh, micro dwarf uh, tomato or one micro dwarf uh, pepper plant, possibly, possibly two. It'd be a little bit tighter, you know, if you were to do so. And you might be find yourself filling up the nutrient water a little bit more frequently than what you would like to. This unit comes with dry nutrient that you add water to, part A, part B. And you could use that, or there's several other nutrients that are out there you could use that are uh, single part liquids. Uh, you could even use the AeroGuard nutrients in it. It does not have a low water indicator, just the visual window. It does not have a uh, reminder to feed your plants, but 
In this day and age, uh, it is so easy to do things like uh, set maybe like an Alexa uh, into a routine to remind you every 14 days to add nutrient. Or you could um, do what I'm doing and I've got all my arrow gardens set to come do on the same day for adding food and I just include my gardens that don't have that feature and so they're all on the same schedule. So the uh, unit itself has been on for a little bit. The bottom of the uh, light is coming in at 91.9, the top 88, and I'm in a room that is currently 73.8 uh, degrees Fahrenheit. So that's, uh, that's not too bad. Matter of fact, uh, this additional warmth might help the, uh, some plants grow a little bit more quickly. A nice feature about this light is that if you grab the pole on it and pull down, it goes almost down to the deck. And I really like that feature because some plants just need that extra amount of light to get up and going. The light pops up and out. Just just a, a nice little well-designed garden unit. The back side has uh, two power inputs. It has the one that powers the pump and it has the one that goes to the wall, fits US and Canadian uh, outlets. 22.32 total watts. The pump is pulling uh, 0.86 watts. So the light is just under 22 watts, which is more than sufficient for uh, the size of the garden unit. The light runs for 16 hours a day. Push the power button to start the unit and that will initiate the 16 hours of light on, eight off. The blue icon that says water indicates the pump's running. Uh, the blue by the vegetables is cool for seedlings or uh, leafy vegetables. And the one that says flowers and fruits changes it to a little bit warmer spectrum for the plants uh, such as tomatoes. So stay tuned to my channel and I will be growing some things in this uh, Hope Garden and show you how well it does. Thanks for watching.